What's up guys, welcome back to another edition of Man Cave Astronomy. Um, hanging out, um, it's pretty crappy rainy weather outside and um, just figured I'd make a, a quick video here on uh, and, and I swear it's not coincidence or anything else or um, well it, it has to be a coincidence but it's not a, a pun to uh, my guy at um, Astronomy uh, Shed that he just he just did a video and just revisiting some balancing issues and um, I actually come home from work today and the weather is just absolutely miserable outside and I was actually in here playing around I, I had the scope all nice and set up um, for where we we just did the collimation and, and different things and um, I was sitting in here playing around with the balancing and different stuff and uh, and doing some things with it and I just happened to get on YouTube and look and I seen where he had posted a video on revisiting balancing and I thought that was kind of it was just kind of creepy a little bit that um, that he had just did a video and I was just sitting here playing around with the balancing but anyway um, but I just want to make a quick video I, I watched his video and I, and I think everything that he's got in his 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 video is spot-on you know kind of the little English term for that uh, I think he's well above and beyond any any level of, of or any caliber of astronomer that I'll probably ever be but um, but I was playing around with mine and I and I noticed some things um, and his setup's a little bit different too. I mean, the, the scope, the actual scope itself is pretty much, it's all the same principle, but he's using a, a, a post mount, or we we typically are using a tripod, not unless somebody out there is, has done some fancy uh, machining work and, and stuff like that to mount the, the head onto a pole. But, um, but there was, and I don't disagree with anything that he said by any means, um, but there were some things that, that I thought that were kind of, um, I'm not going to say that they were kind of going to the extreme, but I think there were some things that were just kind of, I don't know that I really, when I'm out actually trying to observe that I can physically do, um, you know, while I'm out observing, um, and, and get to that level of, um, that degree of, um, twisting and turning but anyway that, that doesn't matter the the point is that I was playing around with my scope tonight and did some balancing and stuff and I just wanted to share some things with y'all and um, show you guys a, a few things that I come up with a couple little tricks that I did and some things that I just kind of found out I really took some time tonight uh, a couple hours just to, to play with the scope I encourage all y'all uh, to set up your scope play with the balancing um you know and get a feel for how that scope should kind of feel all set up and um take some time to to kind of play around um with, with working on getting your scope balanced um because the more you do it inside in the daylight or inside a lit room the easier it's going to be to have to to fix little balancing issues that we're going to run into later on while we're out in the dark and the cold and whatever else or um, we're out trying to observe and the last thing I want to do is spend a whole bunch of time playing with the balancing and very little time actually using the scope looking at stars and galaxies and nebulas so um, I'm gonna pause the video for just a second when I come back we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I've got the scope set up and kind of some little tricks that I've um, kind of programmed in myself to as far as balancing goes so give me just a minute we'll be right back 